What's up everyone? Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get started with sams.gov. And before we do anything, we need to create a login.gov account. Now, login.gov is a service that offers secure and private online access to government programs such as federal benefits, services, and applications. With a login.gov account, you can sign into multiple government websites with the same email address and password. This is how you will log in for future uses. All right, so I want you to Google login.gov. I'm going to click this website. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Hold on, my bad. So, um, when you go on, when you get to the um website, um, it's gonna tell you like it's gonna give you some options. Now you're gonna use one account for secure private access to participating government um agencies, whatever. This right here, it doesn't like, it, you know. I'm gonna assume that this doesn't apply to you. So we're gonna create an account. All right, um, you got to have an email address, of course, and all of this stuff. So we're gonna go down here and create um, an account. Put your email address in. <clears throat> All right. Click the uh, language that applies to you. Check the box. Click submit. All right. Once you click submit, they're going to send you an email with a link to confirm your email address. And you're going to follow the link. So I'm going to pause it. All right. So I had to confirm my email, which I already have an account. So, yeah, there's that. Okay. But once you confirm your email, they're going to ask you to change your password. Your password must be at least 12 characters. And um, um it has to have special characters, you know. And they are going to also ask you to set up a second layer of security as an added layer of security, like protection. It requires you to a secondary authentication method to keep your account secure. This is referred to as a two-factor authentication, meaning like you got to add your phone number and then they'll send you a confirmation code every time you log in or whatever. All right. <clears throat> so once you do all that, you're going to uh, be, shoot, here's your, this is your dashboard. This is what it looks like. Um, like I said, uh, right here, you can add your EIN, you know, basically, this is what, you know, I would scroll down by my phone number and stuff is all whatever. But yeah, so you need to have a login.gov account in order to create a SAMS account. So this is the very first step. And we're going to go to SAMS.gov and, you know, I'm going to pause it. All right. Then you're going to Google SAMS.gov. Okay. Scroll down. Click this one. Don't click this one. Let's add. Yeah. You're going to click this one. I'm gonna take you to the home page. Right, then this little pop-up box is gonna show there's no cost to use this site. <clears throat> All the functions below on the site, entity registration, um, entity reporting, contract opportunities, wage determinations, assistance listings, federal heritage. Anyway, I'm gonna say I don't wanna see this message again. All right. Hold on right quick. Okay, so before we get started, when you click um, get started, you're going to see something that says login and you're going to see something that says sign up. Now, 
Signing up means getting a login.gov account and setting up a profile on Sam's.gov, which we already did that. Okay. And registering means registering an entity to do business with the government on Sam's.gov. And you must sign up and log into your account um, to use many other features on Sam.gov. So just saving searches or viewing standard reports. And you must register your entity, you as an individual or your organization, to be able to receive contracts or assistance like grants and loans from the federal government. <clears throat> also, um, the system for award management, Sam, uses login.gov for authentic authentication when you log in to link the data you already have in sam.gov you use the same email address for your login.gov account okay login.gov is a shared service used by the government agencies to access applications across participating websites with one user credential when you log into sam.gov login.gov will authenticate your credentials so make sure that you try to remember the email and password for your login.gov because if you want to work with the government like grants or whatever um they're going to use your login.gov um information to access your you know your your business credentials <clears throat> so yeah all right so um you got to be signed in to be you know to register your entity so we're going to click accept and right here is where you're going to put your username and password that you use for your login.gov i'm gonna pause it okay you guys so before we start with the entity registration application you need to request an NCAGE code now keep in mind that this this code is also free to get and I will be um, putting all of the links to these pages and these websites um, attached in a PDF file below so as you can see I'm on the portal and then um, I'm going to go to request new if you can see my mouse right here click request new and then you go to the type of entity now like I said this is absolutely free don't pay anybody to to do this now because you um have an LLC I'm going to assume that most of you have an LLC we're going to go down to individual you don't need to worry about the private uh, company or the government entity we're not worried about any of that um, then you're going to enter a description so we're going to say routine and country and you're going to go down and you're going to find your country uh, I went too fast then you're going to click next okay it's going to say warning you should ask the national authorities to obtain a cage code using the following website then we're going to say mm, no thanks all right I'm going to pause it right quick all right first things first when uh before you register like before you register your uh, entity with sams.gov you need to get you a cage code now remember an N cage code is for foreign entities so this uh this code request tool does not apply to you however if it does, I will attach uh, the link um, and a PDF at the end of this uh, video. Now, um, if you um, are operating in the United States, you will need to get you a cage, like a regular cage code, a commercial and government entity um, code. And I will also attach the link to this one at the bottom now remember that this is absolutely free and you will need this code in order to you know move forward with your um sams.gov registration 
So you're going to come to this page and you're going to click I agree. <clears throat> U.S. entities which are not receiving contracts and their grants from the U.S. government may obtain or update a cage code on this web page for the following. Facility security clearance, assignment of Department of Defense Activity Address Code to fulfill a federal acquisition regulation. You have an opportunity to review your information prior to submission. This should take this should take approximately 20 minutes to complete. And then you're going to go and you're going to um, answer the questions that apply. Do you have a registration for the same entity and process at system for award management? They're basically asking you, do you have a 